Yes, guys, what a result for Liverpool. 2-0 against Sheffield United. And a lot of people say, look, it's Sheffield United. You should be beating them. But context plays a big factor. You know, you look at Arsenal getting the result against Luton Town. The sacking of Heckin Bottom. Chris Wilder coming back into the club for the Blades, giving them that boost. That crowd will lift away from home, under the lights, Bramall Lane. You know, it had all the hallmarks of being a tricky night for Liverpool and a night where dropping points was a possibility. But a professional performance, which has seen goals from Virgil van Dijk and Dominic Sobersly late on, has put Liverpool in a position where we can get three points better off than we were uh, in going into game week 15. And it's, it's a good win. It's a professional win win were we dominant in parts you'd have to say we were professional in parts but i don't think we were dominant enough and sufficient enough to take the game away from sheffield united you know, there was always that underlying sort of you know prospect that they could have got a goal they did have chances courtesy of archer but it's a brilliant uh, you know two goals clinical from virgil van dyke uh, and dominic sobers like goals which are spread around the squad you've got goals coming in from our center halves now in virgil van dyke you know you've got endo scoring on the weekend um as well, McAllister getting his first goal. He came off injured though, uh, so we'll have to wait and see on the severity of that. But you've obviously got goals which are shared around the squad. And Dominic Sobers, like, um, you know, epitomising. Uh, Liverpool's dominant performance with a clinical finish towards the back end of the game courtesy of a Darwin Nunes assist his work rate off the ball to get that ball through to Soboslai, um, you know is, is something which epitomises Jurgen Klopp's um, you know, mentality and how he's instilled it within these players to never give up until the final whistle regardless of the result regardless of the circumstances and it puts us in a position now where we can go into that Crystal Palace game with obviously room for improvement, of course, but definitely confidence because those wins, you have to grind them out in the season. You have different types of games throughout the season. You have the game against Fulham, for example, on the weekend where it's a goal fest, it's a thrilling match. But I said on the on the COP TV, you cannot afford to have those games consistently throughout the season because you're going to get caught out at some point and you're not really going to, uh, you know, get three points every single time. Um, so it was important that, you know, grinding games out and showing different ways to dig deep and get the result, um, you know, is most important. But um, it's, it's great to see that Liverpool have got the result. I mean, what did you think of the performance down below? Get involved with your comments. Um, but it's good to see Liverpool are utilising the squad. We know Ryan Gravenberg's come on late on. Cody Gakbo had a, um, you know, a big part to play in today's game. You've got Salah being taken off. And, of course, you know, players like Salah who were going to be frustrated that he couldn't contribute in a way that was representing of a goal or an assist. He's going to kick himself about that, but I think at the same time that hunger and that intent to to want to contribute um, is something that will only help this squad in abundance and will only positively affect um, you know the dynamics behind the scenes. So you've obviously got Palace in the mid on the weekend. It's a twelve thirty, um, and you know that kind of probably weighs into the selection of Jurgen Klopp, who made four changes coming into this Sheffield United game as well. Uh, but what was what was expected of this team was to just nullify, nullify the threats that Sheffield United could impose. Well, they know that they could have utilised, man for man, Liverpool will obviously have the advantage, but if they can utilise the crowd to a positive effect, um, you know, given the, you know, the signing of Chris Wilder, uh, especially in this part of the season as well, where teams like Liverpool and the elitist elite teams are going to be playing more frequently throughout the season, meaning rotation is imminent. You know, this could have ramifications on the performance levels and how they could fluctuate, um, you know, as the month progresses due to, you know, you know, constant rotation and, you know, that inevitability, the burnout is a possibility. Um, so it was important Liverpool managed the game and, you know, we very much managed that. It was important we got the first goal and it was a well taken finish from Virgil van Dijk followed by a corner from Trent. In the you know in the centre of the box, it's a composed clinical finish, ice in the veins. We know he, you know that's what he's about, Virgil van Dijk. So it was good from that aspect that we could get the goal going into half time. It was important about again not really taking too many risks. We know Sheffield United want to utilise their physical um, components, um, but I think we've developed from a physical aspect and we've developed from a physical asset, meaning we can compete physically with more teams in the league. Whereas I think you know as years gone by, we were more technical. Yeah, you could potentially argue we were, you know, heavy metal, that midfield, you know, you had Henderson, Wijnaldum and Milner, um, you know, kind of that workhorse midfield, physical midfield. But I think we've got a lot more, and I think I suppose you could probably, you know, echo this and replicate this for, for Manchester City. They just, they look, the average height is taller, 
um, you know, they're a lot more, there's a lot more strength um, as opposed to just solely technical. Um, so I think Liverpool are becoming a complete side and we've got momentum to complement that as well. And going into these next few games, it's important we get wins. It's important we won against Fulham and dug deep and got the win. That, you know, gives us that momentum and it gives us that cutting edge going into the Sheffield United game. And then, you know, obviously having that Palace game, that's important again to have that momentum from the Sheffield United game. So it's all kind of a snowball effect. And if we can kind of utilise that to our advantage, the, you know, Liverpool's trajectory this season is on the ascendancy and definitely going into more crucial games throughout the season, like your Man United, your West Ham in the Cup, your Arsenal at the, in the league all before Christmas. You know, it kind of heightens that impetus to perform at the highest level, given your current momentum. Um, so, look, again, we're utilising the squad. We're utilising the players that we have at our disposal. So, that's going to give us that cutting edge uh, eventually. We know depth is incredibly important. We know Jurgen Klopp won't pull any punches with rotating. I think he's got a lot more flexible with the amount of rotation he's done. I think that's how that's one representation and characteristic of Jurgen Klopp's evolution as Liverpool manager. I think he's become a bit more flexible with chopping and changing. Um, he's not so scared, I think, to to chop and change. I think, obviously, of course, he still have his loyalties, but I think he definitely rotated today and he definitely shifted the game plan to um, reflect the sort of physical um, advantage that, that they would have brought Sheffield United. So, you know, it's a good result. It's one that, um, you know, Liverpool can take in their stride and look against Crystal Palace. We're going to need every sort of boost that we can get. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the, in the comments down below. What did you think of the performance? And uh, yeah, away from home as well. It's a tough place to go. There's a character building performance and that is where the positivities lie uh, with it. Of course, there's still room for improvement. If you still got to kind of look at could Liverpool have taken the game away from Sheffield United a little bit sooner to kind of um, not take the edge off the game, but kind of, you know, see it out a little bit sooner, potentially, because you've always got that and you know underlying possibility that, you know, Sheffield United could have equalised the game. Then it's a complete different dynamic, different story. The crowd gets up and then you never know. You could even lose it from there. So, you know, could Liverpool have seen it out a little bit differently? I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. But it's a professional performance and one that I'm taking a positive uh, perspective from. But, um, you yeah, know, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care.